Hello and welcome to Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, and, uh, and we are coming to you live, that's right, we are coming to you live from the luxurious uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel and Conference Center in the in, in Dubai. It's the first time I've ever been to Dubai. We, we took a, uh, a quick... Uh, like sightseeing tour, and it's spectacular. It is. It, it really is. And joining me, and joining me, if you don't already know, is uh, is Vani Venkatesh. And Vani is the CEO of Global Business for Airtel Business. Vani, welcome to uh, uh, Capacity Middle East Extra, powered by JSA. We're glad you're here. Yeah, thank you. I'm equally glad that I'm here. Yeah, and so for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about you and a little bit about uh, Airtel Business? Sure, and uh, so as uh, Dean kindly introduced me, my name is uh, Vani, and uh, I run the global business for uh, Airtel, so which effectively means that we serve all the customer needs, be it big tech, OTTs, carriers, mm -hmm. next gen, people who want to come to India, Africa, or any other part of the world. So uh, that's that's what we do. And a little bit about Airtel business to your question. It's uh, unique in the sense that it's uh, uh, we are the one-stop technology shop for our enterprise customers. So be it connectivity, mobility, IoT, CPaaS, cloud, uh, name it, and we are the one-stop shop. Uh, we also having a great journey of moving from a telco that we were earlier to a tech co, and mm -hmm. uh, that's a little bit of whom we are. Well, very good. So why don't we talk? Why don't we talk about? Um India. Yeah. I understand that there are a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, um, opportunity yeah. uh, in India. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what's going on with Airtel, um, specifically in that region of the world? Yeah. Uh, so India, obviously, a ton of opportunity. We've uh, seen uh, data exploding, data mm -hmm. and data growth exploding. Mm -hmm. So uh, each consumer typically consumes about 18 gig of data. So that's large. And you can therefore understand the amount of uh, opportunity on the enterprise space. right? So over the last couple of years, we've seen a fair amount of big techs, OTTs yeah. coming into India. We've seen a lot of them. We have about 350 million eyeballs in India and about another 100, 150 million in Africa. So that's about half a billion eyeballs. Is so that all? <laughs> so far, <laughs> we're not stopping. Yeah, so half a million eyeballs. Um, we have uh, data centers, a lot of data centers. So we have about 12 big core data centers and 120 edge data centers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also building another seven hyperscaler projects now in India. We're doing, uh, we're going to land to Africa in Africa. So we're going to have four or five landing stations there. Uh, we have about three and a half thousand three lakh fifty thousand kilometers of uh, fiber in india and around the world so uh, we basically use a bunch of infrastructure and mm -hmm. have digital ecosystems or digital apps to power our enterprise consumers so that's what we do in india so it's a very exciting time it's a growth economy we are having fun <laughs> a growth economy indeed yeah. it is so let's talk a little bit about growth let's um specifically as it relates to your your priorities yeah. um I, we are here we are almost three months into the year why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what your priorities are through uh through the remainder of the year yeah so there are uh, four things that we're really focusing on one is to continue investments network mm -hmm. and infrastructure is the core of what we do so we'll continue to invest in uh, terrestrial fiber, subsea cables, whatever opportunities uh, we have, wherever there's demand. So that's one. Uh, the second is partnerships. Uh, for the amount of data demand that's there, it's uh, very practicable for us to align with other other like-minded partners sure. yeah, who want to do the same. So we are going back on partnerships. The third is customer service. I think our consumers are demanding very differently and therefore our enterprises yeah. have to be enabled very differently. So we are raising the bar on uh, customer service. And I guess the mo one of the most important things we are doing is put together a digital ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So be it uh, our uh, cloud uh, edge CDN, right? Where mm -hmm. uh, we can actually get web and video delivery to the consumers closer to the edge. Uh, which enables our big tech, our, our IoT, or be it Airtel IQ, which is the world's only cloud-enabled CPaaS ecosystem, or be it 5G. So we, uh, I think from the digital ecosystem, yeah. we are leveraging our network infrastructure to do all of that. 
So you're, you've talked a lot about some of the growth drivers um, that we that we've been seeing and, and frankly have been have seen for you know uh, ramping up quite literally over the last decade. So. Beyond, beyond uh, maybe the proliferation of IoT devices and, and things like that, what do you see as some of those core growth drivers, specifically in the in the region of uh, this region of the world? Yeah, uh, so I think there's uh, a fair amount of cloud adoption, mm -hmm. which is uh, causing a lot of uh, uh, co-location needs and data center needs. Uh, we have our end consumers wanting a very very different level of delivery and level of service. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a consequence of that, uh, enterprises are powering the consumers very differently. And therefore, we're seeing some of the growth around uh, edge CDNs, edge network. We are seeing a lot of connectivity requirements with multiple diversity paths, right? So we are seeing all of that. Uh, we're also seeing a fair amount of de demand on sustainability. So everything we're mm -hmm, doing, sure. we are doing through green energy. We are actually tying up with uh, renewable energy resources. So there's a bunch of things across the board that uh, we are seeing uh, really, really, really drive the demand. So you, you, um, you're the first person to actually mention. Of course, we we just really got started here just a, a couple of hours ago. But you mentioned sustainability, yeah. and, and you're right. We're hearing a lot about it. Um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what they might be able to expect from yeah. from Airtel in the uh, kind of in the under the sustainability umbrella? Yeah, yeah. This this is something very close to our heart. Sustainability yeah. is something very close to our heart. So I'll take our data center as an example. Uh, so we've put in all efforts to get uh, net positive by about 2030, 2031. We are already upwards of 40 percent, and we have some of our data centers which are at about 92 percent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're working with uh, Bloom Energy and other renewable energy resources yeah. to make some of this happen. Uh, so we have liquid cooling technology and all the latest technology that's needed to make this happen. And uh, we're very committed to making sure that we leave the planet in a better way for the next generation as soon as possible. And a lot of the efforts that we're putting in now is in that direction because even in the data center, we're on the build stage. So it's a great time yeah. to make sure that some of these building blocks are sustainable and uh, and and serve our consumers right so yeah it's a it's a thing that we're very passionate about i love it i love it so um bonnie for our viewers that want to learn more about airtel where should they go yeah but they should go to airtel.in and uh, they could go to the business section there and you will find a lot about us uh, feel free to uh, pull in your suggestions we love to hear from you and become better every other day and uh, feel free to let us know what we can do for you and what we can do better. I love it, Bonnie. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Dean. Thank you. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching uh, JSA uh, Live at uh, Capacity Middle East Extra. Thanks for joining us.